Okay, for the next DIY project, my fourth, we have the air attenuator from Ryo. I'm not sure if you pronounce that Ryo or R-O-I-O, but it doesn't really matter. But uh, here it is. It's pretty much the simplest circuit ever. It's literally a very simple circuit board with two jacks and a pot. You can see the arrows show you the direction that it attenuates, the direction that the signal flows. That's it. You buy it in a DIY kit, it comes with three PCBs, uh, three pots, and six jacks, and that's it. There's no resistors, there's no anything involved in this. It is literally the easiest kit ever to build. And all it is, is it's a attenuator when you need one. Um, that's literally all it does. Uh, very cool, let's see an example and uh, check this thing out. Okay, so here we've got a patch going on the Euro rack. Um, we're actually getting the Jarmageddon involved here, so here it is. It's creating some glitch and sending it up to be processed. Anyway, um, we've got a uh, patch going on here, and the last thing in the, in the patch is mutable, mutable Instruments Clouds, which of course is a pretty cool module. A lot of people like it. But the biggest complaint is that it has no attenuators um, on the CV inputs. So if you look there, no attenuators. Uh, if you look at another mutable, like rings over here, you can see there's an attenuator for each one, but clouds not so much. So this is a perfect application of these air attenuators. So we're going to go ahead and plug two of them in here. Now, right now, they are all the way closed, meaning there is no CV. So you hear that. Let's open them up. And we're just going to go all the way open. And this is what would happen if you plugged a straight patch cable in, more or less. So you hear the modulation, but uh, it's pretty strong. So let's dial it back just a little bit. I'm gonna wait for the delay to catch up and stuff. But um, there we go. Now it's starting to be a little tolerable. I mean, clouds is really easy to over modulate, so they're great for a module like this. That, that there is sounding more pleasing to my ears anyway. Just a little subtle modulation. It keeps movement, but it doesn't uh, overpower all the glitch and stuff. And there we go. So now let's, um, let's dial them back down to zero. We go. And let's just dial them up a little bit just to put in a little CV instead of going all the way up and coming back down. Let's just kind of add a little bit. It's usually easier to control that way. And there we go. I'm kind of digging that. And there we have it. 